channel. My name is Vicki Lynn and you're here with Cooking Vegan with Vicki. Today we're going to make an Instant Pot Chili. Now if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can do it in a slow cooker, you can do it on a pot on the stove. Just kind of tweak the way you do everything. So I have my Instant Pot on, saute, and I have a little bit of oil in there because we're going to brown the onions. Okay. Oh, and I have two cloves of garlic in there too, so we're going to get that going. Okay, we just want to brown the onions a little bit. I would make sure it's nice and hot, so it sizzles. We're also going to add the green pepper. Chili is a great way to use whatever you have left over in your kitchen, in your fridge. So I have my onions and my green peppers. I'm also going to be adding some jalapenos to this. I have some veggie stock, black beans and kidney beans, some quinoa and diced tomatoes, and a little bit of tomato sauce. So we're just going to let them grab down a little bit just to take the rawness off. The Instant Pot is going to do everything for you anyway. And then if you're cooking, Instant Pots are easy. If you don't, if you haven't cooked long enough, all you have to do is cook it again, put it on the, on the slow cooker for an extra hour. So whatever you have, this is the easiest way to get this done. Mm, it starts to smell really good in here. And this makes a huge batch. This is great for tailgating, having people over. Um, who doesn't like chili? With all the accoutrements, you could do a little chili bar. Um, so if chili is something that you like, subscribe down below. and. Hit the like button and share it if you want. There we go. So we got that going. And so now we're just going to add in our diced tomatoes. So these are organic diced tomatoes. Fire roast tomatoes would be great. I just didn't have any in the house at this moment, so I'm using what I have. And again, it's very much a dump and go kind of recipe. The tomato sauce. So the tomato sauce is a 15 ounce can, and then the diced tomatoes are a 28 ounce can. Okay, we're gonna get that going. Now I am adding half of the jalapeno. I've taken up the seeds and the membrane, so it's not gonna be really hot. It's just gonna give it a little extra spice. Okay. And at this time, I'm going to add in the beefless grounds from Trader Joe's. And it's whatever you have. If you have um, textured TPV, you can put that in. Um, I have this textured. If you have the Gardein ground rounds and the free frozen type, they're good in here too. Um, and again, it's whatever you have. Um, if you don't have it, leave it out. If you have mushrooms, add the mushrooms in. Cooking vegan does not have to be complicated or difficult. Just use your imagination and whatever you have in your kitchen, you can come up with some really good recipes. And coming up in a couple uh, other videos, we'll be also, I'll be doing some of the staples that you should have in your in your kitchen just to help you out. Things that'll make your life a little bit easier. So now we have our ground ground in there. All right. It is smelling good. Now the next thing we're going to add in is our spices. So I have a tablespoon of smoked paprika, a tablespoon of cumin, and a tablespoon of chili powder. I have a teaspoon of coriander, the powdered coriander, and I have about a teaspoon of the red chili flakes, the dried chili flakes. So if you don't like it hot, you can tone that down. I'm going to dump that in. There we go. All these flavors mingled. All right. Believe it or not, we are almost done. So the last thing I'm gonna, one of the last things I'm gonna put in is I'm gonna put in some quinoa. I don't, I, I haven't rinsed this quinoa. I'm just gonna add it in. Not gonna even up the the protein count, and it's gonna up um, the texture. We'll give it a nice little, good little bite. So we have all that in, and now we're almost done. We're going to add our black beans. Those don't run away. 
They are good. And my kidney beans. And then the last thing I'm going to add is three cups of, you can add water, veggie stock, um, veggie broth, whatever you have. So I actually use the Better Than Bouillon. Um, I just find it easier, it stays in the fridge, lasts kind of forever. So I've done a tablespoon in two cups of water. And I'm just going to add that. And then I'm just gonna top it off with another cup of water. And that'll help with the quinoa. There we go. So we're just gonna mix it all together. Oh, can't wait for this. So, and again, this is really good for meal prepping. Now I'm just gonna put the lid on. 